Hi, I'm Paris here with my brother Chris. Hey. And we are doing the best Christmas gifts for 2021 when there are crazy shortages of everything. Yeah. Everywhere. Now, for kids, we're both fans of RC Heck yeah. vehicles. But what we've never tried before is something that goes in the water. Yeah, basically. <clears throat> so we researched online the two best remote controlled, not boats. We didn't want to go that route. We wanted something that could go on the land and in the water. Amphibious. Yes, yeah, so we've got the two best picks and we're going to try them out. First, we're going to show you what we've got and we're going to race them to see which one is faster. Yep, let's okay. check them out. So what I've got here is the amphibious vehicle, which uh, basically relies on on wheels, tires that have blades built into them that lets it go on the ground, also lets it go on the water. Yep. And what have you got? We got the hovercraft. So this is like swamp people, the kind of stuff they use down in Florida, you know, that float right over. It's got a pontoon on the bottom that fills up with the air pressure. Mm. And then the big um, air paddly things on the back there. So yeah, it'd be pretty interesting. Take these down, see which one performs better. And out of the box, here is the amphibious vehicle, the vehicle itself, and the remote control that comes with it. And you've got, bam, the hovercraft right here and the remote too. Basically, it's like an RC car remote where you have the little kind of steering wheel uh, yeah. to steer it. And for prices, now prices can change a lot because we're in crazy times. But at the time that we ordered these, this set goes for $40. And this was about $60. And you can find out about both of these at the links down below this video. Now, um, out of the box, you will need batteries for the remote control, right? Yeah, separate. They did include the... The small batteries for the RC vehicle itself, mm -hmm. which are rechargeable. Right. And then I think we had to use double A's. Yeah, two for double A's for each remote. And the, the uh, batteries are rechargeable with a USB connector for both of these. But what was nice with yours is it came with an extra battery, remember? Yeah, so this one did include two batteries, which are going to give you a longer play time basically down there. Because I do think you're only going to get about five to seven minutes yeah, of run time. Seven minutes is what I've heard. And the feature we like about yours is when it gets to one minute left, you remember what they said on the box? Yeah, it does a little an alarm, basically, that lets you know. So if you have it out on the water, you're not going to end up having to swim out to retreve it, basically. That's the important You one. can get it back to shore. Should we give them a little show of what it will do? Okay. It's got so, spinning blades. The pontoon fills up. This is, like, soggy before deflated. Now it's inflated. And then, depending to turn, it kicks one in or the other one in. You can see that it's basically just a four-wheeled vehicle, but it's got little blades built into the inside and outside of each tire. So mm, when I Kind of like a paddle the, boat, basically. Yeah, like an old-style paddle boat. There you go, four-wheel drive, it looks like. Yeah, that seems, that seems fast, but that hover boat, that uh, hovercraft seems pretty fast, too. So here we are. This is part of the Columbia River, you told me, right? Yep. Okay, it's a little eddy, because we're hoping these don't float away. Let's see. Connect. And there we go. No problem getting in the water. In the water, well. <laughs> I'm gonna make a left turn. Whoa. <laughs> Here we go, we're coming back to land. Left turn. No, right turn. Right turn, right turn, right turn. Okay, come to me. There we go. Oh! It just doesn't seem like the most efficient way to travel in the water. Yeah, but, but look at on the land, I'm good to go. All right, let's get yours out in the water and see how it goes. All right. Let it get into hovercraft mode and lift up off the ground. Come on, do some lifting. Yeah, it's got to be on a really flat surface, I think. You might have to start it right on the edge of the water. Still dragging a little. Okay, you're hovercrafting there. Well, I can tell you're gonna beat me in this race. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's going. We're gonna find out what the range is on the remotes. <laughs> okay, are we ready to go out around the poles and back? Okay. Let's give it a shot. Are you ready? Yep. Oh. Oh, didn't calculate in zooming. 
I'm going backwards, I realize. My afterburners are in the back. Okay. Directional control is a major challenge, right? Yeah. Uh-oh, I see a collision in your future. <laughs> Whoa, you're already out there. I've got to loop through here between the poles and Ooh. come back. Oh, I had a little misdirectional. I'm finally headed in the right direction. Here we go. Oh no! Uh-oh, uh-oh, whoa! You just ran circles around me. <laughs> Man, I'm half, on, half in the water, no wonder I'm so slow. <laughs> Here we go, I'm coming up on land. Oh, I thought I was. Coming right over you, Whoa. goodbye. Now you got the speed. There we go, let's see you do that. Woo, I'm halfway up the hill. Let's see you coming on land. No. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. That's it. Yeah, it's gotta be a completely flat surface, that is what they say. Well, good job. Yeah. That looks did. more maneuverable and faster, honestly. Uh-oh, am I upside down? I think I'm upside down. Look, it doesn't even care if it's upside down or not. Yeah. See okay, you. I'm gonna get up the hill now. <laughs> That's pretty good being able to get out Can of Can you make it flip? Yeah. There we go. Nice, That's got that on oh, camera, okay. nice. And I can do this. 360. Yeah. All right, let's see what it can do full out. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she had to give it that. The weight. You can see the bubbles coming from underneath of it. That's the hovercraft, the air it's blowing yeah. underneath. I guess you're going so fast that it's not a stable cushion of air, so it pops out from underneath. Nice, you can do that too, you're right. Bit of a wake, I guess. Yeah, and what's nice is the uh, remote control will beep when you, I think it's one minute, when there's one minute of power left. So you don't want to get more than one minute yeah. away. Yeah, very true. But it's a good feature, otherwise you just have no idea. You just slow down and stop and that would be it. And you hope it's, the wind is blowing in your direction to bring it back into shore for you. Yeah. What would you guess the speed? Not quite two miles an hour? Maybe <laughs> one. Two, one mile an hour, okay. <laughs> Here we go, over the jump. <laughs> oh, there's the one minute alarm. All so right, you got one minute to get it back to shore or somebody's going swimming. Okay, great. Here we go, coming up on the jump. Here we go. All right. Nice. Hey, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna go on shore this time and get it from shore. All right, yeah, you caught a little air. That dog. Nice one. There, man, that's good. We have not gotten it stuck yet. Yeah. Nice. So we're back after that great experience down at the lake and who really won? What do you think? I would say on the water the hovercraft definitely won as far as speed mobility but <clears throat> this thing where it said that you could ride it on completely fl flat surfaces maybe like a hardwood floor or something right. but we didn't find it to be able to travel on land very well so as far as the true amphibious nature that guy did much better on land of course than this guy did. I would say for both of these, they're not going to be something for a real serious RC collector or something. More for small kids, I would think. That, I would say this is great for the littler kids yeah. who, who can't steer, pretty much like me, <laughs> crashing in the rocks, because this just kept going. I, mean, I could not stall this yeah. thing out. Yeah. So this is good for the younger kids, and the older kid that's that's better has better hand-eye coordination 
The yeah. hovercraft works for that. The extra battery was really needed with that, though, wasn't it? It ran yeah. out pretty fast. This one ran out quicker than yours, yeah. for sure. This so. is still going, and I don't, I don't know for sure if this beeps or not, but anyway, it, it's still going. So they both, I think, are great Christmas gift ideas. Yeah. If you know your kids and you know they'd like something like this. Last we checked, they still had them in stock. 40 bucks for the amphibious vehicle, 60 bucks for the hovercraft. Find out about both of them at the links down below this video. And we've got more Christmas gifts to review. Then we'll be back and see you on the next review. See you then. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, we give them a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our video.